Thank you all for coming. Last night, the City Council and City Councilor Michael Passero's direction passed a budget against the advice of the City financial team and overriding the veto that my office issued relative to that budget. This budget creates an automatic city deficit and jeopardizes the city's financial standing and bond rating. This is a critical time for the, uh, in the history of the city of New London as we move towards the creation of the first all-magnet regional school district in the state and indeed the first all-magnet regional urban education system in America. This is a significant achievement for the city of New London and one that cannot be imperiled by bad financial management. Accordingly, today, I issued the ninth executive order of my administration. This executive order does two things. First, it orders an immediate hiring freeze on all vacant positions in the city's service. Second, it also instructs the finance director and city treasurer to take all legal steps available to them to ensure that the mandated legal obligations of the city are met. Let me be perfectly clear. As mayor of the city of New London, I will never run a city deficit. I have administered three budgets since I became mayor. Audits have confirmed that the first two have been balanced, and the finance department confirms we are well on track to balance the budget for a third time this year as well. Under my leadership, the city enacted a fund balance replacement plan, also last year over Mr. Passero's strong objections. The city's rating agencies have told the city of New London clearly that this fund balance replacement strategy and the fact that the city has been operating under balanced budgets is the only reason why they maintain the city's credit rating and that any change in our fund balance replacement plan or schedule would result in negative rating pressure on the city. Should the city's bonds be downgraded, it could imperil our ability to bond the near $200 million that will be required to engage in the Magnet School Pathway Project, which I believe and have long advocated is the number one advancement that the City of New London could undertake, not only to improve its education system, but to improve the city as a whole. I believe that these actions have proven two things. First, that the voters in the City of New London five years ago were very wise to switch their form of government to a strong mayor form of government. If there was not a strong mayor independently elected and independently accountable to the voters of the city, not only would the city's finances crash this year, but they would have crashed years ago. And second, that Councilor Mike Passero has proven definitively, not just in this recent action, but in his actions over the last four years, that he is unqualified to be mayor of the city of New London because he fails the first primary test, the ability to run our finances and balance our budget. Five years ago, as a member of the council, during an election year, while then a mayoral candidate, Mr. Passero voted for a budget that contained a $3.7 million deficit. This deficit nearly crippled the city's finances. When I exposed that deficit six weeks into my administration, Mr. Passero said the deficit did not exist saying that it was government by ambush. Sure enough, audits confirmed that that deficit did in fact exist and was the result of significant under budgeting and revenue overestimations made by the city council and made by him. A year later, we went through a tough budget cycle for the first new budget of this administration. He again said that the city had appropriated plenty of money even after making broad across the board cuts with no sense as to where those cuts were coming from. When the city administration responded with necessary budget reductions to balance the budget, which we did that year barely by only about $200,000, Mr. Passwell responded that it was not true, that they had budgeted plenty of money, and that by proceeding with layoffs and staffing reductions, I quote, lacked all humanity, end quote, and that people would, and I quote again, die in the streets, end quote. Well, he was wrong again. And last year, during the debate on the Magnet School Pathway Project, Mr. Passero offered at least four amendments, one of which would have prohibited any of the Magnet School bonding if the city's debt service went up at all.
That was a poison pill amendment that would have made the bonding absolutely impossible. He also vigorously opposed the city's fund balance replacement plan, overruling not only the city's bond council and city's financial analyst and the city treasurer and the city finance director, but even overriding the city council's own independent financial analyst that he himself had urged the council to hire. This year, he has done it again. The entire city financial team has opined that these actions are reckless and that they jeopardize the city's financial standing. In spite of that, with a goal on political gain and certainly an eye towards the coming mayoral election, he decided, and the council followed his lead, to charge ahead on this path anyway. This is a dangerous and unsustainable path and one that I will not allow. The mayor of the city of New London has independent authority, separate and apart from the city council. The city council can pass a budget, but the city council cannot mandate that any of the money they budget be spent. I can always spend less, and I will, and that is why we are holding those vacancies open. I will also closely monitor the budget throughout the year, such that if I am still the mayor at the mid-year point after the election, and we are running a deficit, I will take all legal means that are available to me to ensure that we do not run a deficit this year, as I have in the past. The City of New London at this critical juncture must maintain its financial standing, cannot dip into its fund balance, and cannot return to the days of deficit spending. I believe the choice in the current election could not be clearer. If the city is to maintain a stable financial path, this administration must be returned to office. Should Mr. Pastro be elected, he has clearly declared what he will do, which is return the city to budgets with flubbed numbers, denying the advice of our financial team, and incurring deficits again in the city of New London. That simply cannot be allowed to happen if the city is to continue to move forward. With that, I take any questions. Mayor, is this a campaign?